Hey everybody, welcome back to Kumasau Reviews. What we're taking a look at, this is a really big one for me, the Tamashi Nations Mexico Galleria 2015 SH Figure Arts Sun Goku Exclusive. So this one was really hard to obtain, limited to 500 pieces made, period. So people really scrambling to get those. They are re-releasing the exact same mold it looks like for the 2015 SDCC exclusive coming up this week. So that's really awesome. Me, I like having all the boxes and stuff like that. That whole completest feeling. I was able to get a couple at cloth, so I jumped on it. Why not? But anyways, we've got the two boxes here. This is the retail release of Sun Goku. Just so you guys can see what they're like in comparison. This one doesn't have... Well, it does have the stickers and stuff like that. I guess I didn't look beforehand. The only one it doesn't have is the Funimation sticker. So, still has the Bandai Tamashi decaling and stuff like that. So that's cool. Alright, now taking these out. On each of these, the Kamehameha effects, I left them out. They're the exact same. They're just a pain to get all put together and stuff like that. Figure out what piece goes where. So, you know, you guys get the gist of it. i show you guys the difference. And the insert here, inserts here as well. And they're pretty much the same. This one comes with an extra face right here, so there is a different layout there, but in terms of the rest, they're pretty similar. Same hands, same effect pieces and everything like that. Alright, on to the review. Now we've got the Mexico exclusive Goku, Mexico slash SDCC exclusive, versus the retail release of Goku. We've also got some others in the background here, SDCC 2011 Goku. I don't know what year. Oh, this is just Manga Gohan. This is Tamashi Web Exclusive, Super Saiyan Vegeta. But this is a six inch scale line. Looks like he's about five and a half inches. Yeah, you can see their colors vastly different. This is actually anime accurate. In terms of coloring and stuff like that, it's weird when you actually take a look at stills from the anime, just how red and even dark the blues are. A lot of drawings, and if you look at reanimations like Ultimate Tinkaachi and stuff like that, you'll see this orange. And also in the Namek Saga in general too, but the boots, the belt, quite a bit different. And then he does, of course, have the kanji as well. So, see how they look back to back as well. I don't know if this is just these two particular figures. I don't know how well it shows on camera, but the the hair on the Mexico exclusive on mine it's actually darker than the retail release. It's a jet black versus more of a flatter matte black let me zoom in here see if you guys can see the difference at all like it's so black it actually has a sheen to it well, there you go head to toe it's different it's not just kanji and a and a belt well, we'll get him out of the way move gohan back we'll just check out the figure itself same posability really tight joints on this one as well. Got some crumbs I need to dust off, etc. etc. But pretty awesome. Glad to have gotten them. Now this is honestly, I believe the fifth or sixth use of this body mold because it was also used for SDCC and Manga Gohan as, or Goku as well. It's also going to be used for the upcoming, I believe it's Mystic Gohan that they're releasing using it. So this definitely isn't the end of this Gohan body, or this Goku body. I keep calling him Gohan because I'm looking right at him from above the camera. Well, there you go. I'm looking. Add some of these hands here. Let's go ahead and swap out the face, do that cool new face. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here so 
you guys can actually see it if I can hold on to it. This is what all the hoopla is about. And I like it. It's a gritty, cool face. I do dig it. All right. And his skin tone, it does look to be the same as the retail release. So that's cool in terms of the additional faces and stuff like that. If you get the SDCC and there's some kind of problem, you're not out the secondhand prices or whatever you might have had to have to pay for that. You just replace it. As long as it's not, of course, the additional face. But Take extra care of that one. All right, let's actually go ahead and make him hold this. Kame Kame Ha. We'll make this a long review, do this, and actually knock it out. Overall thoughts on this? I dig it. I dig it quite a bit. I dig it even more when his hands are on the right side, but mistakes happen. I want to know what you guys think, too. Are you guys going to get the SDC version? I actually prefer the colors on the retail release. I like that bright orange. But I like the kanji on this one, too. So I'm hoping down the line... They do make that, I believe it's the Navic Saga version that's got the orange, the sash that doesn't have the knot in it, as well as the kanji. Kind of a algamash of the two. I think that'd be awesome. And there you have it. There he is. Throwing the Kamehameha. Or loading it up, actually. There's the new face and everything like that. An overall awesome toy. I really like it. Again, this is the Mexico 2015 Galleria Exclusive slash SDCC 2015 Exclusive. Which is coming up this week. I believe it's July... 8th, yeah, 8th through the 11th or 12th or something like that. That's preview night. So anyway, this has been another Kuma Style review. Check out kumastyle.com for the full gallery and everything like that. Not trying to blow my load because I'm going to have to review the SDCC as well. Exact same toy, so not trying to take too many shots or anything like that. But let me know what you think of those as well. See you next time.